You have seen earlier a demonstration of the swipe left gesture. Before going into the rest of the gestures, let me show you how the setup works. First, we must start the PC server listener to monitor the file changes so it's ready when the smartphone sends the audio file. Next, we have to run a bash script on the smartphone to monitor the file changes so once the gesture is recorded, it's immediately sent to the PC server. Lastly, we have to start our ultrasonic generator, which is the smartphone. Now the system is ready to capture the gestures, and we will demonstrate the rest of the gestures in a noise-free environment. Now the user is performing the gestures. The screen is displayed on the bottom left where it shows the updates of the gestures performed by the user, and the system is capturing all gestures perfectly without errors. Here we will demonstrate the rest of the gestures in a noisy environment to test the system's robustness under noise. On the left we play a sound effect of people talking on maximum volume and then we normally perform the six gestures. Here we will show you some limitations of our model. You will see that some gestures such as the swipe up and down don't work correctly from a distance. And this happens because the smartphone's microphones are not strong enough to capture the change in the Doppler effect. Nevertheless, in most of our applications, the user is nearer to the smartphone.